Oh my gosh, they are so cute. Look at his post about her and him and a god. Yes. Yes, sis, I agree. Now my question is, when are we gonna get you your own man posting about you? Um, who are you? Girl, you know who I am. No, I I don't. That's why I asked. Sis, that's not important, but what is is that question I just asked you. I don't know whenever it happens, but until then, I'm content and waiting on God to bring me the right guy. Ah, content! Girl, who do you think you're fooling? You over here swooning over all these posts. You always thinking about the next point when you finally get somebody. And I know you be lonely at night. For real. Be all cold and shivering and stuff. Sheesh. No, for real, girl. That loneliness, it be on you heavy. Like, nah. Okay, you, you're doing a lot. Listen. I'm not here to judge your loneliness. In fact, we can use that, okay? I'm just telling you how you really feel. Actually, I'm here for it. So we can just take that and run with it. Oh my gosh. I think you're right. Yeah. Not the running with it part. What I've been doing. I mean, have I really been this one-track minded during this season? What you talking about? My singleness. Have I really just been sulking in it, like seeing it as some filler chapter until I get to this one? If I have, that hasn't been cool. I'm pretty sure there's more to it than that and God wants to do more with me during this time than I think. Actually, I'm positive that there's more God wants to do with me without me being in a relationship. Girl, you know you're lonely. That's stuff you say when you love me. Come on. No, seriously, singleness isn't some curse like we, well, I sometimes made it out to be. It's actually a beautiful season. You been hurt before? You know I like to say stuff like that when y'all been hurt before. It's okay. It's okay. You really like interrupting people, don't you? Yeah. You know I gotta act fast. You know, before spirit get in the way, you know it be our willing and stuff. Stupid spirit. So, we gonna get some action going or not? Nah? No. My point is, maybe I should evaluate what I've been feeling, wanting, and doing. You know, really start focusing on the now and not just longing after something in the future more than I do God. Maybe I should start seeing this time as a gift. So what you're saying is, we are not gonna get you a man. and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be about the gift of singleness I just gotta take a sip you know when the Holy Spirit convict convict you of something and you know you'd be like clenching your butt cheeks and stuff because it'd be really it, re it really be that deep this is one of those things so a few weeks ago actually yeah it was like the end of last month in October um, I was blessed with the opportunity to go to the pink lid conference okay so the pink lid conference is held every year and it was founded and it's hosted by Alyssa Scholl who is absolutely amazing it's a two-day conference for young women and there's all types of sessions breakout sessions there's different speakers um, there's different activities and it was just a beautiful amazing time I was like, my edges were snatched by the Holy Spirit so many times, like, the conference was great. Um, but there was one particular thing that I feel like the Lord really laid on my heart to talk about and the Holy Spirit also convicted me of because I didn't even really realize I was doing this, but it was something that I was definitely doing. So during the conference, we had, obviously, you know, breakout sessions and you were able to choose which one you wanted to go to. So I went to a breakout session with Dr. Jenny Scholl, who is awesome. Shout out to Dr. Jenny. And hers was called Hooked Up, Nacho Mama's Average Sex Talk. Now, obviously the title already drew me in. Great title, unique title, attention grabber. Dr. Jenny talked about a lot of different things, but one thing she touched on in specific was the gift of singleness. And that just really, really got to me. So I'm single, okay, single. Single as a Pringle, single as a dollar bill, like I'm single. 
I rededicated my life to Christ a few years ago in 2014. And so before that, I definitely was like, I think I've always been like those extremes, like before Christ is just like, okay, like single, I wanna be by myself, you lonely, all these different things, just wanna be in relationships for all the wrong reasons, right? That was me, I was that girl. Then it's like, okay, you know, you give your life to Christ, like you're really like, okay, I'm on fire for God, like I have this relationship with God, we doing this thing together, like, you know, we're, we're like this, me and God, we, we dabbing it up, right? And then it just becomes, you know, or at least for me, and I feel like for a lot of other young women sometimes, it becomes, okay, now, you know, I just want that godly relationship, and, you know, I'm just preparing myself to be the wife that God calls me to be, and I want to make sure that I'm on point so that, you know, and I want to be pure, and I want to do all these things so that when I meet my husband, like, I'm going to be ready for him. And then so we kind of do that other extreme where we kind of just make our life all about that next chapter of marriage or being in a relationship, um, you know, where we're going to be a wife. And that's also another extreme. And so what I found really, really interesting and like really just like, you know, I needed it during this session was that she spoke about just the gift of singleness and all of the other things that happen in your singleness that we kind of forget about. It's amazing because I've definitely felt like, oh, I just want to be in a relationship or I just want to feel wanted or I just want to feel all these things. We go to this next extreme where it's like, okay, well, everything that I do now is for the purpose of being married, is for the purpose of being with somebody, you know, it's for the purpose of preparing for that. And that's also not really what God calls us to do either. During this session, I was just convicted and the Holy Spirit just spoke to me about what are you really doing and wanting in your singleness? What are you focusing on? What are you making the forefront? Are you really making God the forefront at all times? Or is it that you're using this season of singleness um, mostly as just preparation for, for marriage. And I was like, dang, like you didn't even need to come for me like that. So I definitely felt just like a tugging on my spirit because I think that even if I haven't done that consciously, um, subconsciously, I've, you know, I've done that. We can just be transparent. We could just be honest. Maybe I'm by myself, but if you feel the same way, like I'm going to just be transparent. You know, we follow all those pages on Instagram, like about, you know, not, not shading any of them, but we follow all these patient pages about you know having godly relationships and like embracing you know your your single season and and all these things and those pages are great and they give great tips you know and we you know we go to all of these little like seminars or different uh sessions or youth sessions or whatever the case is and they're talking about godly relationships and then this is what you should want in a man woman and for men this is what a woman of god looks like and we just like yes yes like we over here clapping and we just you know all these great things um but i realized that i was putting a lot of focus on that and I was completely missing the point of what God was trying to do now because I'm looking forward to this next chapter. And the next chapter is not bad. It's not bad to want a godly relationship. Actually, that's what, you know, the Lord wants you to have. It's not bad, um, you know, to want to find somebody that is on this, this in alignment with you, that spirit knows your spirit, that literally God crafted for you. None of that is wrong. But I feel like sometimes, especially for me, I was overlooking where I am now and I was overlooking what God wants to do with me, Aisha, before I become misses whoever and i just felt the holy spirit laid on my heart to evaluate what i'm doing this single single season and to evaluate how i view um, my single season the one person we touched on in the bible of course was paul who was single and um, i'm just going to read a little bit but in first corinthians chapter 7 verse 7 it says i wish that all of you were as i am but each of you has your own gift from god one has this gift another has that the gift he means you know in this context is singleness for me i said man what would it be like if I really started to view this singleness as a gift and not just saying that and not just saying, oh, well, you know, I'm just waiting on the Lord, you know, like I'm going to just wait for God to be in the world. I don't, I don't want to be heartbroken. I don't want to go through all these, kiss all these frogs to meet my prince. Like, you know, I just want the Lord. I'm just going to wait on God, which is true. But did I really mean it though? Like, let me be upfront, you know, like inside your flesh, like, oh girl, I'm dying. So the Holy Spirit administered to me about viewing it as that gift and, and seeing what God is doing now. So I thought it would be really cool if I gave you guys some kind of tips or um, different things that I've realized that have been helpful for me in really taking advantage and appreciating this season of singleness. And so these are going to be the four P's of the present of singleness. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first P is purpose. You guys, like once, like when I really caught the revelation like a while ago, like the revelation of purpose, you know, in correlation to your relationship, to marriage, to your life, phew, mind blown. I say purpose because 
when you know you're in your single season you're really able to build your relationship with God uninterrupted now we can be upfront how many of us if we were in a relationship right now like for those for those that are single how many of us if you're in a relationship right now would really have as much time or really honestly desire as much time with God where you are some people might be at that level where they feel like you know oh no like if I'm in a relationship like me and God we still gonna be like this but some of us others we're gonna be honest myself included you know and like I've definitely been that person where I knew that if I was in a relationship I was gonna put God on the back burner I was gonna be like Jesus I don't have time I have a man what God does in your single season is literally and that's such a simple thing but literally you are isolated from a relationship you know specifically speaking you're isolated from a relationship so you're really really able to build your relationship with God uninterrupted not distracted by whoever you're you're dating or whoever you're with at that time so I think that that's something that's really revaluable and then it goes into purpose because with building a relationship with God he's then able to start to reveal to you who you are personally what your purpose is where he wants you to go what he wants you to do the ministry that he wants you to start the business that he wants you to start whatever the case is and it's not to say that God doesn't reveal things to you later on when you are married when you're you know with somebody that's not true but I think that God really gets all of your attention and is able to really pour into you when it's when it's just you and at least for me speaking I feel like the more I put my focus on Christ the more I put my focus on my relationship with God and building that instead of just sitting there sulking because I felt lonely was when God really started to reveal to me okay this is what you know I want you to do this is this this is that and and in a relationship with him in intimacy you know which you might not have the time for if you with somebody else in intimacy with God and constant intimacy where none of your time belongs really um, to that other person God is able to then really build you up as an individual and he's then able to reveal to you what you're here to do which is the whole point of this whole life that we live you gain that purpose and I also feel like another thing that you know this revelation was also just like you know wow to me is that that's important we need that I feel like sometimes we get into relationships and we don't know who we are we don't know what our purpose is we don't know what we're meant to do you know we just know we want to be with that person and it becomes a problem because I think that in our in our society in our generation it's not considered important you know to make sure that your purpose is aligned you know we just date whoever we feel like I like this person you know whatever the case is I feel like you know that's become a part of our culture a lot and we kind of miss the point of you know when you're with this person forever and that it's it's gonna matter what you guys want to do it's gonna matter what your purposes are and I personally believe that like the Lord really you know does create somebody that matches exactly what it doesn't mean matches exactly what you do meaning we do the same thing but that your purposes make sense that what he wants to do correlates and kind of you know mingles and, and, and jellies together with what you're meant to do and that together it becomes like a force to be reckoned with because that's what the Lord wanted when he you know designed y'all for each other the second P is process now this one is also a really really good one and one that I feel like I've definitely lived <laughs> because you know I look back on who I was years ago especially like when I really wanted certain relationships to happen I look back on that person I'm like man like I'm not even an inkling you know like of who I I am now you know I'm not that same person at all in your singleness your character gets developed through trials and tribulations through different experiences through growth all types of things change about you and so I think that we need to appreciate the process more um because that also helps, you know, to be who you need to be to receive that blessing anyway. And, you know, that that's also like not going back to just, okay, I'm just going to appreciate the process for the sake of the relationship. But you appreciate the process because of the beauty of the stretching, the beauty in what God wants to do in you, the beauty in God communing with you, walking with you through all of your mess, through all of your 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 craziness your foolishness and and growing you to be the Aisha that he wants you to be to be the whoever that he wants you to be and one thing you know in the breakout session that Dr. Janie spoke about that really got to me um was that your life begins now literally guys like that was really when the Holy Spirit was like girl I'm talking to you your life begins now I can't tell you how many times I did that thing where I would say you know when I get married when I meet that man of God Jesus when I you know have ministry with my husband when we do 
you know anything that happens during that time when I have kids all those types of things we think that that's when life happens when all of your stuff seems put together and you have the right person you have the right job the right family all these things we say our life begins then that is not true you know and some people may be like well yeah Aisha that's obviously not true but at least for me speaking like I feel like I subconsciously would do that where I would just always be looking forward to that and not even like appreciating that my life starts now that the experiences that I'm having now you know the, the trips that I take now the the things that I do now those things are part of my life you know it's not that when you look to the next page where it seems like yeah things are gonna be great then too and it's gonna be there's gonna be new experiences there's gonna be great things to do there's gonna be a different dynamic that's gonna be all great but I feel like sometimes we miss out on realizing that our life begins now that now God is doing things with you personally and it doesn't have to include you being linked to somebody else the third P is productivity we think about productivity we think about time the way that you're using your time your time management what you're doing with your time and I think that you know your single season your productivity is a lot easier because all of your time and affections belong to belong to God like you don't have um, a husband to tend to you don't have kids you know if you don't have kids you don't have kids to tend to like in that single season when it is you know just you all of your time and affections belong to God so you can really spend time in fellowship with the Holy Spirit you can really spend time in intimacy with the Lord you can really spend time in worship having your quiet time and you can really spend your time being productive and that productivity you know can um, result in you know starting whatever the Lord wants you to start you know living out your purpose connecting with with these people or starting this business or starting this ministry or doing it whatever it is that God calls you to do um you're able to give that all of your um, attention obviously through God and giving your attention and time to the Lord for him to lead you where he wants you to lead you without other things I can't tell you how many like married women who are in ministry um, who are who have nonprofits who are doing all types of different things right and and are, are, are doing amazing things and changing the world for the glory of God that I follow on social media that I know all these amazing women and how many of them say you know before I was married like it was a whole different life and not that they don't appreciate being a wife and appreciate their married life and appreciate their relationship but it's a whole different thing, um, you know, once they got married because they don't have all the time they did before. Marriage is a ministry, you know, a relationship, a godly relationship that you're building to go into marriage is a ministry. It's something that, you know, requires work and requires time and requires effort and all these other things. Productivity is the third P. Fourth and last P of the present of singleness is personal. When you are in your singleness, you have that personal um, hearing from God. I'm not trying to say that once you get married or once you're in a relationship that you're not going to hear from God personally. That's a lie. That's not true. God will still speak to you. You know, I'm not saying that at all. When you are alone, when you are by yourself, that is the time where Jesus really just kind of like works with you because there's nobody else to work with we're gonna go to matthew 19 and we're gonna start at verse 4 and verses 4 through 6. it says haven't you read he replied that at the beginning the creator made them male and female and said for this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife and the two will become one flesh so they are no longer two but one flesh therefore what god has joined together let no one separate and um i feel like that verse really just speaks volumes because I feel like, at least for me, I, I tended to forget that, you know, when God does join two people together, you literally become one flesh. And I've read this, you know, in the word, I'm sure if y'all read, y'all know, you know what it says. But I think that I never really caught the true revelation of that and realizing that, man, like that's completely, that's like a, a partnership, but you're literally, you know, one. And then so once you are married, it's a whole different thing. Once you're with this person, it's a whole different thing because God works with you as one and so i think that that's one thing that we should appreciate in our single single season or when we're single is that god is working with you personally if you and your sleep one day and then the holy spirit's like i want you to go to spain and you're like what you know and for whatever purpose the lord wants you to go to spain that's different than when you married and you feel like okay the lord called me to go somewhere but i don't know and then the lord speaks to your husband and is like i think you guys should like move to spain and it becomes a you know a whole different thing which that's a beautiful season too because when you are together you know the Lord works with both of you like your husband will get some you'll get some or your wife will get some you'll get some versus when we are just alone and we're, we're with God God really just gives you that personal one-on-one -on -one connection um, where it's like okay 
you hear from God and, and it's just you and God. It's like, okay, Jesus, like, you know, like, what you want me to do next? You know, versus when you are with somebody and, and you got you got to go and talk to your spouse about whatever, you know, you feel like the next move, it, move is or whatever you feel like God is moving you to do next or whatever the case is. Although God will still speak to you and you'll still have a personal relationship with him when you're married, the dynamic will be different because, you know, now you're operating as one flesh versus when it's just me, Aisha, and I got to worry about including nobody else so I feel like that's something that we kind of overlook and we should appreciate more is that um the Lord leads works guides you know just you and that's a beautiful thing when you literally just you and Jesus that's a beautiful thing so the fourth P would be personal and that is it those are my four I feel like it's eight now Four. those are my four p's for the present or the gift of singleness i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful i hope you learned something it was just something that the lord laid on my heart and something that i learned and so i thought i would just share it with you guys not just seeing it as preparation for the next chapter for the next season if that's what's in god's will for you um but seeing it as something beautiful and amazing and and growing and and all these things all in its own comment down below i'd like to hear comments let me you guys know if you are single like you know what did you think do you feel like you've been enjoying your single season do you feel like the lord has told you anything during your single season um and yeah let's just have a conversation about it and i thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next week bye